Hi guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. It's episode number 25. We've got a big episode today, lots and lots of content to digest and a lot to get through. So we're going to start the first sort of part of the episode with just packs from SPCs and stuff. And then like the end of it is going to be like a draft. Drafts had an update which is mental so we'll get on to that obviously later on in the video for now we're just going to start off with the SBC so we start we completed a few SBCs ages ago um, obviously I've been playing weekend league and then getting that up the past couple of days so this is all a bit late probably some of the most most of these SBCs probably all these SBCs have probably gone um, out of the SBC section if you know what I mean uh, but from this pack we do actually get a Moose Sissoko we already have a Moose Sissoko in our club which is fantastic and it's tradable so we'll flip them get the untradable one in the club and then sell Sissoko for like 28k which we have done and he's been sold then we do the Defy the Norm uh, SBC I've probably overpaid for most of these SBCs if I'm being honest just because I'm using untradable players I didn't want to spend anything so I've used loads of rares uh, because we get loads anyway uh, from like rivals and stuff because we always pick untradable packs so from that pack there wasn't really anything and a hunter's all right and a center fall to cam there they're all right but apart from that absolutely nothing and then we go into the season uh, progress we get a rare election place pack from level 23 is it or 24 i'm not too sure it's one or the other um but we are going to get ourselves a non walkout and it's not bored i don't think no nah, it's not no it is never mind sorry apologies for that it's actually Hirodeki, which you know, you might as well just not be aboard to be fair. He's only 83 rated. Yeah, you know, I think I've already got him as well in tradable. Yes, we do. But it's nice to get a load of silvers in the club and obviously a uh, Champions League Nacho Fernandez. And then we go to the European powerhouses and we are going to choose Del Piero. I did this ages ago. Um, but obviously, yeah, um, you've not seen it till now. And then we do the FGS challenge. This is really interesting because they've brought out a basically a viewership reward scheme. Basically, so if you watch an hour of the streams that come out, then you're gonna get packs basically in return, like place to put in the SBCs to get packs. It's it's an alright concept, but it's not the greatest. The way that they've done it is literally you can't even get the first like the worst pack till January, which is pretty pointless. Uh, it's not like a 25k pack here it is here obviously you can read that you've probably already seen it you probably already know about it but that's that so that sort of replaced like swap cyclone swap sort of things for now but obviously they're going to come into the game later on um so then we do the mega pack for the level 24 so yeah that's decent can we get anything from the pack though mega packs are all right they're decent packs on the game Thirty-five thousand coins are obviously worth if you have to buy it and you know come on we've got to be getting something but we don't really it might be a board yes it is it is going to be Skrinja 85 rated so that's great for fodder he's only worth like 9k or whatever but like solid solid fodder 85 rated from a very decent league to be fair it's well it's a major league in it which is also good uh, and then we just get a few just low rated cards but i'll take that an 85 rated for free can't really go wrong and then we do a gold upgrade are we gonna get anything from this let's have a see i don't know if i cut this pack out actually not too sure uh we must be watching it so here we go then let's see what we get i'll just move this over here we are going to be getting a non walkout and it's a non board i mean that would be pretty pointless me showing you that one it but oh well we get bauman who we've probably already got as well anyway which is unfortunate oh yeah that's what i need to talk about right so div rivals they finally changed it. Do you remember last year when they gave us up my packs for, for rank one? Well, they're doing that again, which is fantastic. That is brilliant. So I need to finish rank one, but I'm literally in rank four at the minute. I need to win one more game to possibly get that rank three, but I might not even get rank three, which is never good. But the packs are all right anyway. So moving on in this episode, we are now going to sell the team. St. Maximin is going, and I sold him on Monday. He's now rose like 15k since I sold him, which is really, really annoying. Because then we probably would have broke even. But anyway, we sell him for about 305k. We're selling packed Paul the Rashford as well. And then we're also going to go to Gretzka. 
and uh, Alaba and also Alfonso Davis, they're all going to leave the club because I want a fresh start. I'm going to start using untradables a bit more and then I want to like, I don't know, I want to experiment and I want to try some new players out in this game. Um, maybe, I don't know, just maybe a Neymar at some point. I really, really want a Neymar. I can actually afford Messi right now, I think, after these players sell, which is interesting. Uh, we could go for the big Lionel, the GOAT himself. Um, so yeah, they're all gone. This is the untradable team that we've put together. Obviously, we've done Mukiele. I don't know if you've seen that, but yes, we have done him. Uh, and then a few players are on 8K, Maxi Soko and Adama and Dembele. But it is what it is. Now, I've changed my tactics. This is what we're going to try in the weekend league. Uh, if you want to copy it, then you can. You're more than welcome to. You know, 4 2 3 1. We're going to have Dembele up front. Yeah, with De Dembele up front. We, I, just, I don't know. I thought, why not? I've seen a few players use him up front. So we're going to give it a go. We'll put Martial out on the left cam. Maybe we swap them, not too sure, but yeah, so that's the team for now. So yeah, now we're up to 650k pretty much with all the players selling, which is decent. It is decent. And then we do the no boundaries, SB, not SBC, uh, objective, sorry. Getting a two-way player pack and also a 25k pack for literally just winning a few games on a friendly mode and scoring whatever, 12 goals or whatever. Easy stuff. So we're going to open these now, we're opening the two red player pack first, obviously because it's the lower rated pack. Are we going to get anything? That's the question. We're going to get a non-walkout and a non-board. Woohoo! We're always just saving the look, aren't we? We're saving the look for the, the next pack. So can we get anything? Um, that's what we need to know. That's a decent little pack to be fair. Two non-boards, Coquelin and Tonali. They're both quite usable for first and objectives. Anyway, so the 25k pack, it's not a walkout. But as you can see, it is going to be a board, which is German goalkeeper, of course. And it's going to be Trap. We've already got him. Um, brilliant. I mean, it's it's untradeable, so slightly annoying. But, oh well. We're just going to have to discard him. So we have done that, and then we are going to do the Italian Intellect, I think it's called, which is from the Del Piero uh, Objectives, is it? Is it Del Piero that I picked? I think it is. So we'll open that. It's a 30k pack. I think it's a rare trim. I think it's a 30k pack. Anyway, we are not going to get a board, I don't think, from this pack, no. So it's a bit of a waste of time, but we have helped the community, hopefully, getting a loan Del Piero, which will be decent for friendlies. My nose is really itchy and I do apologise. So that's that pack. That's that done. And then we're going to do some UEFA marquee matchups. These games happened last night. Man City did win 3-0, which fair play to them. I mean, if, if they didn't beat Marseille, then they'd be in trouble. I mean, Pep, I mean, honestly, you can't really lose to Marseille, can you, when you've spent 500 mil on defenders? Anyway, and then Piemonte, Piemonte, Piemonte Calcio and Barcelona, obviously they're playing tonight, are they? I think, obviously, Ronaldo's been ruled out because of Covid, which is a bit of a shame, uh, but it'll be a decent match, I might actually watch that. Um, so, yeah, we'll open these packs now, obviously. Never really get anything from Marky matchups, but we always do it anyway, it's just extra content, in it? So we are going to open this pack. Are we going to get anything? That is the question. It's opening. We're not going to get a walkout. And it's not even a board. Oh well. Here's where it is. It's probably the worst pack. And it is Milik. So it's not that bad. If it were a Militao, buzzing. But no. It's a Milik. And then the rest of the pack it's meh. We'll just store obviously the bronzes and the rare silvers into the club. Which is good for SBCs down the line. We're not going to sell them. Don't you worry. We're just going to keep them in the club. And until someone, some nice objective, not objective, um, SBC comes out, then we'll put them in that and then jobs are good. And right, so we've got two more packs. The rare gold is up next. Can we get anything from this? That is the question. It's not going to be a walkout and unfortunately it's not a board. So that means it's all resting down on the last pack to give me some sort of coinage from these uh, packs and... This we see, we do get a hunter, which is quite useful. Not even worth anything nowadays. Like, that's just a shame, isn't it? They used to be worth 25k pop, and now they're like 2.5k, which is interesting. Obviously, that's all down to EA's doing, putting them more in pack, putting, putting them in packs more often. 
Anyway, so we do open the last pack. Can we get any from this? It's not a walkout, but it is a board, and it's going to be Brazilian striker from Manchester City. You love to see that. It is Gabriel Jesus. He's unfortunately only worth 29,000 coins now or so. So it's not like the 60, 70k what he was at when we had him, but it's still coinage at the end of the day. It boosts our coin total up, which is fantastic. And then we get Antonio and Davis and stuff like that. I'm still really kind of shocked with this market, you know, like... How's Gabriel Jesus only 28k, 29k? It's ridiculous. I actually don't understand it. Richarlison's now like 4k. Remember when we had him at 40? It's just mad, honestly. And now, it's the draft time, baby. So, we're going to spend 15,000 coins yet again. And we're going to get a draft. So, let's see what formation we'll pick. We're going to go with a 4-1-2-1-2 wide. Because the 4 2 3 one wide... Not really, I think it's one striker and the midfielders are pushed really far back. So we are going to go with a two striker formation and hopefully we can get some good attackers. So we are going to start off by getting a Raheem Sterling. It's a decent start, what what can we say? Uh, and then we're going to get uh, Tosson. I mean, I'm happy, it's just Premier League. We're going to build a Premier League draft because why not? And then we could have picked Rodrigo there, but he's a Leeds player and I think I'd be sick in the bin. So we're going to pick Martial, who is a decent player anyway. Uh, and then we're going to get a big one here, Kevin De Bruyne. Quality, quality, quality player. I ended up playing him CDM in this draft and he's just mad, honestly. And then we've got Shakiri, obviously for chem reasons. Not really anything good there. But then we get a non, not a non-ref. We do get McTominay, so it's all going well. It's all going swimmingly so far. We get uh, Alex Tellez, decent. It's just chem. I mean, we. I think I'm pretty sure we end up with 100 chem from the first 11. Look at this. It's just a full prem team. Uh, we keep going. We're gonna get a Van Dyke. That was crucial in this draft, honestly. Him next, he just made Rudiger like a hundred times better. <clears throat> honestly, his quality. Van Dyke's so good on this game. Him and Varane. That's a dream partnership. Anyway, we move on. And we're going to get a non-Premier League goalkeeper, which means we have one slot left to get a Prem keeper. And I'm scared. I'm scared for my life. We might have to play keeper on for chemistry. Oh, we get Alisson. Thank you. So we do pick up Alisson. And it pulls um, Van Dijk up to full chem as well, which is brilliant. And then we're going to get ourselves a Bernat, I think. Just because why not? And then we're going to get an actual Premier League Right back are we? Yes we are, Doyer, there you go, so we're now up to full chem, lovely jubbly, everyone's on 10, so we just need some super subs now, we're going to pick up Rodri, could have gone with ZH, but we're going to go Rodri just for that CDM spot, brilliant, got a nice triangle of Man City players, and then we're going to get ourselves Ferran Torres, decent, I mean, that's for, for um, Man City players in the little block there. Now we just need some OP attackers and then we're done. And then we just we do such thing and we get Mbappe. That is amazing. And then what's coming now? What's coming now? We're going to get ourselves Bernardo Silva. So we're upgrading the Man City four players in midfield. And then we're going to get ourselves a yeah, Varane, I think. I think we choose. Just because why not in case we want to sub Rudiger out if we don't get any other attackers. But... Don't you worry, we are, we're getting Neymar Jr. That is ridiculous, so we've got Mbappe and Neymar, and then we're going to go and get Messi. What the hell is this draft? Mbappe, Messi and Neymar in the same draft, that's just ridiculous. And then we'll get Minamino, sorry about that. And then to end off the draft, we are going to pick up a Jack Grealish. I like a bit of Jack Grealish. But I was just absolutely stunned, I was so stunned at the fact that I picked up Messi Neymar and Mbappe in the same draft. That's just unheard of, honestly. And the all UCL cards as well. Um, so I'm gonna fill you in. Um, we are gonna just play the la well. The last game's just gonna be in this, but as you can see, we did we we did win all three of the first like three games, and we're now gonna go into the final because this video would go on forever. So we'll just speed it up. Get into this final. There you go. Puyol Walker's a bit of a dangerous man, and he's got Ronaldo up front, and he does end up bringing, I think, Neymar or Mbappe on up front. Can't really remember which one, even though it was this morning. So the first attack of the game does go and score from a corner. Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm so happy they removed his man, but it is ridiculous. That is just a nice, nice little haircut, nice standard, not a man bun. Anyway, so we move on. 
And we're going to get through here. We're through with Mbappe pretty much straight after he scored. And we've chipped Alisson. We've sat him down. We've said, look, I'm winning this final. So then, you know, we just obviously, obviously slippily give away a goal. Of course we do. Because Messi slots in Rodri with about 60 pace. Who I subbed off. Basically, what I did was uh, I put Neymar and uh, Mbappe up front together. And then I had uh, Messi at Cam. And then I put the Bruyne at CDM. So, we do find us uh, way back in this game. Messi, of course, the absolute goat himself. And then we're going to try force a corner, which we do with uh, we it, De Bruyne. Bloody hell, I can't think. And we do actually green time ahead of, and we've scored a corner. So, we're now 3-2 up, and we've turned this game around. Virgil van Dijk, you absolute king. I'm so happy we got him in this draft. I just wanted to use him, to be fair. Absolute quality. And then we push through in the second half. That is a beautiful finish from Kevin De Bruyne. Pushing up from that CDM, which I'm alright about. And he's just tapped it in. I mean, that's a quality finish off the post. So now two goals to the good in this draft. Brilliant. But, obviously, my sloppy defending is terrible. And he does manage to get into my box and slot it home eventually. There you go. A bit of a rebound. But it is what it is. We're 4-3 up still. We're still in the driving seat. We just need a goal and it'll kill the game off. And that's exactly what we go and do. We knock it to Bernardo Silva. Takes a strike. It's a good save. But watch this. That is quality. That is the mind reading skills of a tank. And then we just knock it back to Mbappe. Who scores in an empty net. So we're 5-3 up now. He does his nice little skill, uh, nice little celebration. Love that from him. Then we do a nice little skill with Neymar. And it does end up getting Kyle Walker sent off because he had a yellow on and he got booked again. And then he thought, my opponent thought, right, that's enough. I'm not playing now. Um, so he does end up quitting. And we've won the draft. you love to see that. So we're five, what, 5-3 five win. Love it. So hopefully we can get some good rewards this time. We got shafted last time. Got absolutely nothing. Oh, it just will not good, was it? So can we get anything? This is the new update, right? So basically now... You can get, are you ready when it wants to press it? There you go. You can get coins now for winning the draft. I don't know if you can get it in the other rounds, but that is quality. So 45k back in the club, so we've profited 30k. And then we've got 20, a 25k pack and a 50k pack. That is ridiculous. So we're going to open the 25k pack. Are we going to get anything from, anything from this? It's a walkout from the worst pack. It's English, but it can't be Kane, which is a bit unfortunate. CDM, which of course is Jordan Henderson, who got injured last night. That's unlucky for him. And does his, does his nice little golf swing in a minute when he wants to. Uh, which, yeah, buzzing 10, 10k in it, and there you get what you get. Um, so that's quality from the worst pack. And then we've got another pack uh, after this, when I want to do that, after I've done that, when um, he decides to move on are we are we gonna move on well, i've got vela as well whoa vela and a brighton kit yes just what i wanted honestly well we'll list vela up and then here we go then the 50k pack can we get back-to-back -back walkouts imagine winning the draft and then back-to-back -back walkouts oh nice not a walkout and uh it is a Bard, is it no? no yeah it's a bard brazilian is it gonna be Zeus again no it's gonna be paulinho who's literally worth like 1500 coins now that is mad to say that Taliska came out yesterday for 60k that's a ridiculous card i might actually do that not too sure but that is gonna be pretty much the end of the video so if you did enjoy give it a like subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one tomorrow peace